World War II created the greatest loss in human mankind. It all started when Adolf Hitler invaded Poland and seeing that Great Britain and France call out war against Germany. This brought chaos among people. Many lost their houses and loved ones, while many others were abandoned and trapped. Today we present you the story of a fearless lady who helped the people finding their safe route to home during this war. Hello there, welcome to Folk Punch. France was occupied in 1940 and thousands of allied soldiers and a downed army were captured in France. Even before the World War, the Nazi troop used to beat Jewish men and women ruthlessly. There was one woman who found this very cruel and inhuman. She instantly thought that if she ever got a chance, she would do everything to stop this movement. She is Nancy Wake, who fought for the freedom of French and Jewish people. She was neither Jewish nor French, but during her journalism career, she witnessed many cruel deeds by German Nazi, which made her hate Nazi officer and she promised to herself that she will give whatever it takes to stop Nazi movement. That opportunity arose when she met a martialist industrialist named Henry Fioca and married him. He was a rich man with good social status. Soon after her marriage, Germany invaded France. It was like an opportunity for Mrs. Wick because her wealth and social standing gave her courage and she began helping members of local resistance group. Between 1940 and 1943, she saved the lives of hundreds of allied soldiers and downed airmen by escorting them from France to Spain safely. She became the courier and then an escort for all refugees trying to leave the country. During 1944, she helped to establish communication lines between British military and France resistance. That was a very important task to weaken German occupation in France. But that was not going well for the German military and soon she became the most wanted woman in the list of Germans. Her head was worth a large bounty. She had special powers to escape from dangers and flew away from the places. That is why she was given a special tag name, the White Mouse, by the German military. Nancy was a beautiful and well-dressed woman who always carried a Chanel lipstick in her bag. Because of her bold and flirty nature, she could easily pass many checkpoints and borders without giving a hint of doubt. As a spy, she believed a woman could get out of many troubles that man could not. Nancy holded a character of being fearless and overachiever. She kept herself in between life and death. In 1943, she went to England and convinced the British government to train her as a professional spy and she began to work in a French special operation education. In April 1944, she was among 39 women and 430 men who were parachuted into France to help with the preparation of the D-Day. There she collected the night parachute drops of weapons and ammunition and hid them for advancing allied armies and set up wireless communications with England. The German counter-attack against the Marquis disrupted lines of communications. At that period, Nancy covered 200 kilometers by bicycles over rough roads so that she could get and share crucial messages. During her 72 long hours journey, she slept in haystacks or in the open field. She was finally able to re-establish radio contact with London. Nancy did not like killing people, but as a necessity, she killed a German sentry with her bare hand and ordered the execution of a woman who was believed to be a German spy. Every bit of her sacrifice counted when Southern France celebrated their liberation in 1944. There were happy faces everywhere and then she met one of her old friends. The happiness of liberations did not last long. She got the news of her husband's death after a year. It was very painful for her to know that her husband was arrested, tortured, and then executed. During the period of war, she had many close calls, but she remained focused and worked for the people. From a fun-loving teenager to a fighter and a savior, Nancy Wake is a great inspiration and bravery to today's youth. We often choose money and fame over others' pain and problems, but the story of Nancy Wake always inspires us to choose humanity over anything else. And that's the only way we can make this world a better place to live in. How do you like the story of Nancy Wake? Please pin down your thoughts in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.